Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be here. So my name is Felipe Pires. I think uh, many people uh, maybe know me. Another thing, another people maybe don't know me, but no worries. So today we are talking about uh, the, this topic that I like a lot, the moral analysis. So we talk about it specifically about the second comparing different binaries to moral analysis. So, but the first of all, I will talking about who am I? I think you know, or many people using this kind of comment, but usually <laughs> I, I like to put this kind of, because you know, it doesn't matter who I am or who am I. So you can, in the, in the end of the, this presentation, you put my LinkedIn contact and my email, so you would like to know me. You can uh, follow me in the LinkedIn or another um, social media. So, but uh, the first of all, the one thing more important to me is my family. So I am talking from Poland now because I am living here in Poland, in Krakow. But uh, mainly in June, I will return to live in Brazil. So this is my big family. So this is the first uh, for my life. You know, this is the, the most important for me. I have a four children, as you can see in this picture. So yes, it's a big, big, big family. But this, as I mentioned before, it's uh, most important to me. About my work, so today I work as a global research manager in the hacker sec security. This is a company in Brazil, but I, I work basically like uh, research with this, this company. And, and I am starting a new uh, challenge, a new job in Brazil, this company, Zoop Innovation. Um, I am work, have been working in this company like um, a security and research manager. So this team, this uh, company is a um, development company uh, to build a new software, new um, projects. Uh, it's the focus basically in open source code. So you can follow this company. It's a many different uh, approach and codes you can use. Okay. So, uh, and the most important for me, as I mentioned, it's my family. Okay. So today we are talking about the, the the some steps that we can use when you talk about the moral analysis. So the first of all, you need to understand uh, what this kind of sample, because you know, I don't know if he's uh, malicious or not, but I need to understand and to identify this artifact, you know. So first of all, we need to understand it's a malware or maldoc. It's the name, it's obviously. So malware is malicious software and maldocs and document malicious. So when I identify this, uh, it, this uh, sample, I can, pass to the next step is to choose what the strategy I can use to analyze the sample. Or I can use, for example, a statistical analyst or maybe dynamic analysis. This is the two forms or two ways that I can use in my, uh, in, in my approach or usually that many, many different uh, moral analysts using. Okay. So before it, I can create or I can prepare the report, you know, this, the many times the, the coordinator or manager like this or tech lead like, like this report because, you know, when you made different studies or you made uh, or you proposed uh, to prepare some analysis, you can, you, you need to, to, to write this in, in some report and present this your, your, you know, your, your boss, your coordinator. After that, you can improve your defenses mechanism because you know if you work in, in any companies like a security team you can prepare you can improve yours um, your tools that that can be used for example so you can use in different uh, you change different settings in your uh, tools in your environment you change different uh, like your configurations or maybe settings in the you know it's using the different best practices okay after that, you can create the, this a beautiful name that many times the mother like this name, you know, thread intelligence. I, I am joking with this topic because it's very important, I know, but uh, it's a big challenge to, to build this in, in many different companies because, you know, when you talk about the cyber, cyber threads, it's um, a beautiful name, but when you talk about uh, the APT, Advanced Persistent Threat, it's so different, it's so difficult to understand how this works for example so this is uh, important when you talk about the moral analysis and understand what the behavior of this this different sample for example 
and you can create you can create this um, intelligence you know so you you need to have for example many different um, approaches different steps or different uh, maybe server or you can create the honeypot or create or create for example a misp uh, some a malware um, inspection or or uh, Anyway, you can create in the repository, you know, to the, the many different samples to, to create basically the threat intelligence. And after that, you can, uh, using this, this kind of word, it's, it's, it's very interesting, resilience, because, you know, the threads are changing. Yes. So when you talk about now with you, with our analysis, we have many other guys creating new malwares or new different strategy to uh, exploit different customers or people's you know people you know so this is the 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 the, the picture that we can use in the more analysis so the first step is a static analysis usually uh, this is the exploration using for the many many more analysts this is the first step usually often the the analysts using because you know uh, we will talk about the, the, the describe this, this statistic analysis, describe the process of analyzing, describe how the code works or, or how is, uh, the structure of the, the function. If you in found, for example, is, uh, different DLL or libs in the file and how is the function that this DLL, uh, maybe can call for example, so this is the first step. It's so usually when you talk about this this, anal this analysis, this kind of analysis, like a, a static analysis, the problem itself doesn't run. You know, uh, I put here it's depending, of course, of the problem because you know usually this process it's maybe more safe because uh, usually you you don't using the executing re in runtime your sample you because this approach when you run this or you perform on this sample you can use in the environment in control environment or like a sandbox this is another uh, analysis but the uh, static analysis usually you can use the many different commands to understand of this behavior okay so the second step it's dynamic analysis as you mentioned it's based solely on behavior uh, that is you can basically you can execute the the sample in a and it's, it's a lab in the lab on lab laboratory you can use it in the runtime analysis you can using this uh, this concept called a sandbox you can prepare the the on virtual machine you can run this sample inside this virtual machine and understand what the behavior that he uh, eat this sample have okay so this is the different approach so when you talk about the statistic analysis you can use in many different commands because you know you understand of the inside of the code and you talk about the dynamic analysis you can run the sample in the you know in the in the own um, environment in our virtual machine okay so so this is the first step i would like to show you but uh i, I prepared the video but i would like to use in the demo okay, for you i will present in my machine okay so okay so here we have um, this my virtual machine you know i prepare here for you um one th one thing very interesting okay because you know the first common that i could or i can use i like to use to identify the sample for example i will let me check here i will send simple malware and suspicious okay this is the first uh machine when you see this kind of uh folders or folders of um, samples sorry when you can see different samples uh, how the sample it's um, show you or you can see it's maybe uh, suspicious for you so uh, first of all when you use this uh, for for me for my side when you talk about in Brazilian guys usually using this 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 concept this term 171 is usually it's like a jokey the when you talk about the person, the people in Brazil, ah, this 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 person, it's like a one seven one one set you. It's like the people don't pay your bills or something like that. So in Brazil, when you use this kind of uh, file, 
you know, this kind of this, like a suspicious. It's like a joke, you know. So, but if I use, for example, file command to understand what this means, for example, this 171, we can see here it's not an executable file. We can hear, we can see here this is the 171. It's a text file. It's totally different. It's not not uh, not exactly because you know the file command. It's, it's very interesting. I will, I will explain about more this 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 file because for me it's very interesting to understand this basis you know so for example another file I, that I can see it's malware DLL it's another file that I can read for example when it, when you see malware doc DLL here oh my god it's a not executable file it's the same case it's a text file oh my god so if you if you have the text today we can read for example the first the first file here you can read 171 when you when you he, when you read here you you can read you lose oh my god when you can read another file for example let me check here mower dll.com www.neverbelievingextation.com yes i know that is a joking this is the purpose of this because the first of all we need to understand when you talk about the malware you need to see we need to understand what what this uh, command maybe what this file maybe is for example here we can read for example it's a, you, it's an image document file okay so another file 17 here you can read it's a text file okay so here it's maybe executable file right so 199 119 is a cuttable file so okay here we can read for example this is executable file p p e yes portable executable file this uh 32 the structure this is the architecture for windows of course because it's p e yes portable executable and here we have in the in interesting information because here the sample is uh are using it's using up upx compression mm, that is we have a, 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 a packer using one the, the attacker compiled this kind of sample, right? So, and uh, I mean, here we have another different uh, sample. Maybe we can analyze both. Uh, I would like to read this file, for example, the text. Let me check here. So, cat 110 RTF. Let me read. So, very interesting text. If you see here, we have, we can see here the information of this file can be decrypted using the program dirty decrypted docxc. So maybe you can suppose here this is the communication from the attacker to the victim, right? So press uh, Ctrl D to run the crypton. Maybe this file it's responsible to decrypt the malware, right? So decrypted it's it's executed not open it here we can read the path it's very interesting here we can read for example see uh, user and 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 all user or the victim and user for example ap ap, AP data ramming dirty so when you look in the all files here you can uh, look at this another it's maybe uh, we talk about this file right dirty decrypted it's, it's the similar name if you use it for example file for this uh, uh, com this uh, file for example, using file command for this file, um, the sample for example, when you execute, you can read here it's PE executable but not compressed. You know, not this file, don't use it for example, UPX. So maybe you can access this information eh? uh, basically, or maybe this file can be using to decrypt this. This encryption that can uh, attack it or Wittmann can suffer in, in the environment, right? So this is very, very, very interesting sample um, to analyze. But the important thing to understand, guys, is here, is it. For example, file common, it's, it's very useful common. You know, I know it's a simple, a simple common. It's, for me, it's totally clear. But, you know, you need to understand this basis because uh, many people I can I can see uh, in different conference when I talk about this this topic mainly uh, the people don't understand how this works this 
what I, what I can use this file? What can I use this common file? Why this important? If you read the man, because you know, I, I understand it's very, 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 the people don't like to read a lot information. It's, I know, but here we have uh, uh, the gold, the gold points, right? right? For example, here we can read what this uh, command works, for example. Here, this explanation. The magic tests are using the check for files with data in particular fixed format, right? So, uh, when you talk about the file command, let me check here. The These files have a magic number. So, that is, that is this is the key. Because all files has the magic number to identify this file, right? So the magic number is stored in a particular place near the beginning of this file that tells the Unix operation systems, right? So here we have many information. Another point here, the, the canonical example of this is binary executable compiled program. It's a dimension whose format is defined in elf doc uh, h. So here, the, another information is very interesting because we, when you talk about the structure of the, the ELF from the Unix format, you can read here the exactly format in the, in the Linux file. So, I, I, I propose here to... I, I, I download the, 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 the file code, the, the file code here from the Debian, for example, I would like to, to understand how this database works because my proposal now is understand of this code, how this works. Because you know, you need to understand this, this all base, you know. So let me check here cd file, okay, cd magic and magic, 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 okay. So here, guys, we have the database of the all all magic numbers that we have in the Linux machine. For example, when do you see here in JavaScript, okay, let me check here in the cat and JavaScript, JavaScript, here you can read the information of the the magic number that we, that, that usually the, um, the commands read in the beginning of the file, in the magic number file. For example, if the beginning of the file we have this information, Maybe this command will be identified like a Node.js script test executable. You know, of course, when you talk about the, the portable executable, the PE or the ELF, we have a different uh, approach or we have a, a, a different uh, a regex that can be used to identify this kind of file, right? So, for example, if... Um, let me open another, another terminal here. So, I will use Terminator. It's, mm, problem here so let me I like to work like uh, um, okay no that's, that's what works okay now so CD more simple more more not simple it's um I forgot okay let me check here in suspicious a suspicious CDR and PDF I like to not suspicious CD CD like a mal doc okay so I think it's here it's okay yes perfect here we have a difference uh, let me open better this okay to read more read better I think mm -hmm. perfect so if I can create here I will use nano okay you can <laughs> you can uh, yeah, I think you can. Don't like nano? You can use VI, no worries. So I'm using here. Besides, okay. So here I used to the any test is here. I can create here. Malware is uh, dangerous. Okay. So I will save here. Okay. If I if I using the file command here besides is a text right okay so now it's very interesting so for example here let me change here to compare the both of this 
work with you. Okay. Here, the same case. Perfect. So we have here, when you let me the JavaScript, for example, that I mentioned to you. At the beginning of the file, the regex is it's been dash node. So I will change this file, for example, I will put here and I save. If I use file, we're talking about, oops. Oh my God, it's not a just text, but here we have a Node.js script and executable file. You know, that's very interesting when you manipulate in, in the magic number of the file, I will change again another different nano I will take this I will put for example percent PDF 1.9 and access save so we can use file besides when you talk about oops not um, let me check here PDF percent I forgot now here yes right so you can see here I manipulate again the same file it's PDF document but you know document file it's basically it's a, a text file but I using the file command to identify this um, magic number you know I change different approach three times the first I created the text file the simple text after that I change it to nano JS script executable but it's not executable you right so because of this I need to understand how this command works you know because I know it's simple command but you need to understand what this command works you know this is the database I can change again for example I can look another different approach here uh, maybe I don't know let me check here another you can use another regex it's maybe it's PDF that I can use. I can use another, for example, uh, let me check here, Yara. What's this, the beginning regex? Uh, it's, 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 it's maybe it's difficult to put here now. It's still different. But anyway, now it's important thing here, you understand it can be, it's, you need to understand what this works very well. Okay, so let's change to, let's come back to the presentation. So this kind of part is very interesting. I talk about the, the structure of the ELF, as I mentioned before in the file command, you know, I talk about the structure. It's basically it's, it's the same. For example, when you talk about ELF, you can read, for example, we have the ELF header, you have the program header table, you have the session in the, text, the doc text and, and read your only data, and you have a session tables and another part. In the same case, when you talk about the PF, the PE, Portable executable, we have the same or, or not same almost uh, structure because you have the DOS MZ header. It's you usually the the analyst uh, run the different command. You can identify, for example, the MZ structure, right? So and you have the the same. Of course, we have we need to have, for example, another talk. To explain about the P because it's very 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 complexive or, or complicated to talk about the PE because I know you have different uh, optional header P header this identify to, to to the file you have the session table you have you can read the code uh, you here you have different sessions oh I think it's in front of the session but okay anyway uh, you have a different structure it's very uh, uh, complexive but okay uh, I will return the, the my machine to show you the some information very interesting for you. So here, let me exit here. Okay, I will use the terminator because I think it's better to manipulate the file. Here, I are you talking? I, I will show you before. I showed before so about the structure, right? When you when you read uh, uh, the file command, we we read here about the elf structure right so here we have the information about the structure of the elf. i would like to copy and i will check here um 
let me check locate here okay here it's the sample I'd like to read I would like to nano here yes very interesting so user include elf doc he this is we talk about the structure of the elf right so here let me change here I would like to compare this both of this uh, for you no no here no no sorry okay oh, yeah. mm. oh yes okay so here um, let me check here CD more simple uh, and Linux Mauer and Linux okay mm -hmm. we have different Linux here okay so here when let me clarify some information here we have the instructor of the elf for example here the elf file header this is appears at the start of the every elf file we have the first uh, step that we identify did find the elf file we find for example the I identity this is the first uh, 16 bytes that you can look and can found the magic number and others information if you use for example let me check here we have different binaries we have uh, for example Airbus one this is um, a ransomware malware for Linux uh, let me confirm Airbus yes Airbus this is this is here it's a uh, L files to uh, 64 bits this is equitable this is the version it's dynamic linked and that is okay let me check another I think it's here L Linux Anki it's the same uh, 64 bits that I'd like to another file Linux I think it's let me check here Linux Mali yes right so I will use this in, in two Airbus because I will I will compare this both of the samples elf and and 32 bits and here and 64 bits right so when you you can come back to the structure of the elf when you you can read and 60 bytes in the beginning we have the information of the magic number in the others information so let let's to explain it to understand this kind of steps you know the structure so fields in the ident uh, array because you know you have the array of the 60 uh, 16 uh, bits here so the first you have in the first uh, position we have the zero in the second position we have the e the third position we have the l in the three position we have the l if you use for example x dump you can use xd xd minus 32 bytes i will check the the, the first it's Linux Mali you can read here the first the four position that you are that I mentioned in in the elf file you know this is the first position the four position right the first is zero the second is E the third position is L the fourth position is F you can read here so it's the same case here you can read so let me compare this for Erebus file Erebus file let me check here it's the same case yes that is we have the structure in the file uh, structure here in, in the elf file that's very important to understand because you know when you talk many people talk about the malware analysis in reverse engineering it's very very interesting but guys we need to understand these first steps you know this is my idea here with you in this presentation because you need to understand this base for example the next steps when you look in the for example this five position this is the five position right one two three four five position here zero one what explain this structure of the elf the position elf class 32 zero one means it means 32 bits object when you use 01 you can read here it's 01 it's because the Linux Mali is 32 bits 
But another file, the error bus, it's not 32, it's 64 that you can read here. So in this case, it's not 01. You can see what here? 02. And of course, it's here. 02, it's perfect. Another uh, position is position 6. It's talking about the little engine and big engine. If you read here, it's 01 or 02. It's the same case. The both of files, it's 01. It's, that means it's just it's little wind. You can read and uh, and um, not in front of, but you know it's different. The another position that I like to show, for example, it's a let me check here. It's about the structure, for example, uh, of the machine. You can read here Elf. It's creating, for example, the using Alliance or Unix systems or HP or NetBeals and the IBM or another structure. If you can see here the eight position, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight position is zero, zero. Here you talk about the Unix systems or zero, three, you talk about the object you know, Elf station, right? So maybe you can read here the both of its uh, exactly of the explanation. After that, you can read more and more and more and more. So another thing it's very interesting is the next step. It's I type the object file. When you talk about the 16 array, you know, the 16 uh, bits in the first array, the name of I identity, you can identity. The first array is I type. It's the second. It's the 17 position, right? So here we have a 16 position and here we have the 17 position. What it's what this means here when you read the another position let me check here legal values for EIT object file types here and we read the information for example with if this file is executable it's locatable or shared object file right so here we have the two both files executable let me confirm here with another binary in elf it's um, User, user bean, I think, uh, ls, no, yes, ls here. So here we have different format, I will can show you here. ls, it's, a, it's this command, right? So this is a binary, so using file, user, binary, ls, this is a elf file, right? So here in the 17 position, we can look what? We can look at the share object, you know, because this is a created in, in language C program, right? So here we can read this information. It's the same case because it's not executable. Yes, it's executable because, you know, we have different buildings, different in, in structure in the Linux or Unix uh, system operation, but it's another talk, right? So here we can read the different. Here the shared object, not different when you talk about the first uh, files, it's executable, you know? So this is, it's very important to understand the structure, right? So I, I, I can talk about the, the, P, the portable executor, but my focus here is to show uh, what the important understand the basis of the, the structure, right? So let's come back to the presentation. So here we talk about now some physical and logical structure of the files, PDF files, okay? Because we, understand the first about the the structure of the how coin strategy I can use for for example in a static analysis or dynamic analysis and af after that we read about the file command how this works of how this database this file command have and understand more about the structure the pf files the sorry the l files right so now i i looking to the pdf files right so basically in general pdf documents has four mainly parts the first part is the header, the second part is the body, it's very common. The third part is cross-reference table or X table, and the trailer is basically the end of the document, right? So basically it's divided this form, header, body, cross-reference table, and trailer. So here I would like to show the very interesting information. The header, we can read the version number. Do you remember when I created uh, the text file and I manipulated the magic number and we looking the PDF file, do you remember? Uh, to change it to the PDF file, yes, you can read this information here, it's very important. So inside the body we have the pages objects, image and font and bookmaking and many different uh, things. 
And in cross-reference table, that here it's very interesting because we have the locations of the object int, int in the file. So basically, all this, this, the parts of the structure, it's linkable into the body in the cross-reference table to reference and many parts I will show you for you. And the trade is the same case, your location of the certain, basically in presentation, I am in front of the presentation, but that's, it's not a problem. I will show you in my videos, okay? So I will use basically the PDF ID. It's a very interesting uh, command in using in, um, in the Unix platform. You can use it in the Windows platform. It's of part of the tools created by DDA Stevens. It's a, a very no guy to talk, to, to, to create, to build many different tools. So I recommend, by the way, uh, to read more about this information. It, it, the point here, guys, it's to not talk about the tools, but to understand how these tools work. Do you remember before we talk about the file commands, the office structure, that's the point in very, very important, you know? So PDF ID will scan a PDF document to give a string list. Do you remember we talk about strings? Uh, this is very interesting. I, I can show you for you if we come back to the strings. Um, ah, okay, Philip, I know how these strings works. Ah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I will show you one thing very interesting. Maybe you know, but maybe you don't know. So the same case I would like to show you here. So let me change here, Windows page, Windows files. We have different files here. Uh, Gigasaw, Mamba, Pecha, WannaCry, Server, it's many different brands of ours. So here we have a string common. So the first of all, we need to understand how this, I will talk about the fucking dot, it's not, not correct, but okay. I will talk about the, how this strings works, what the common do uh, works. So strings basically it's a command to, to understand, to compare what the explanation of the strings let me check here. Man is strings. Yes, man is strings. Strings print the sequence of printable characters and files, right? So I can understand basically if the strings is print of the sequence of the printable characters. So here we have a anacry, right? So if I use, for example, strings to anacry, okay, like less. Because you know I am in the Terminator, I can change. I I don't change the buffer of this. But when they use here, it appears for us just that this document cannot be run in the in the DOS model. Reaching the docs test this is the first session, the second session, another session, and another session. So I have a question for you. It's very interesting. So let me. Okay. Here. Uh, I would like to check another another file, for example, a patch. It's another RAM server. It's the same case. This program cannot be run. Uh, we have here, you look in here, the text or data, data, and section or ES or C. Okay, so very interesting. So I will come back. I will go to the Linux. Okay, so let me check here strings. Erebus, my friend, less the libs. So the, we have interesting questions for you, for everyone that can listen this presentation. Why doesn't show, for example, the MZ in the case of the windows, what don't show the elf structure as you can see before when I when I using the xdump command, why not appears for us? It's the simple answer. But maybe you know, but maybe you don't know why it don't appear. But basically here we have the explanation. For each file given, the new strings prints the printable character sequences that are at least four characters long. Because of this, don't show you the MZ, you know, because if you come back here, D windows x dump x dump minus 32 bits for wanna cry next x dump minus 32 wanna cry let's go back here right you know here this is the string if it's strings 
should be appears in the command strings, right? But that doesn't uh, appears because of this explanation. Just it started to show that the four characters, you know. So that's point. It's very important to understand how this command works. It's not as a tool, you know. It's I think I no, I think I know that it's a tool. But you need to understand how these tools works, you know, because you need to understand how these tools works, how this uh, uh, tool are uh, works. For example, you, uh, I don't know if you read, for example, if you know this kind of um, tools. Uh, okay, not PA, it's read, read PA. Message. One cry less. Right. So here we can read, for example, the simple structure of the 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 PA structure. You know, so we have here you read we read the magic number. We can read the uh, the paragraphs. You can read the machine, the structure of the machine. You know, it's uh, x86. You can read another different. Uh, in a, here you can read the optional header, the, uh, the the signing of the PA structure. You can read many information. Here we can read the all interesting information for example the kernel uh, 32 dll the all functions that this dll dependence of the get directory create files the let critical session you you, you receive many information you know i don't know if you if you look if you know this this tools it's a part of the the pavi project you know created by uh fernando mercedes it's a brazilian guy to create it and another guy from world to today it's it's part of the Debian, I think, uh, association, but it's, this tools is created, based in these another tools that maybe you can, you, you, you know, the read elf uh, Erebus, for example, it's the same. Oops. Okay, I need to setting. Yes. Here it's the same, you know. So, but this tools it's for elf, not PE. It, that's that's the, the 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 important point, you know, because this is the first tool uh, are be created, was be created. Um, but the another tool in the the Pavi project, the read PE, it's the same. It's is the, the the almost two created is inspired you know in these tools but when the guy created these tools this guy need to understand how these tools works that's the my you know my object is here in this talk you know so let's come back to the presentation so pdf id have many structure here the first of the structure you talk about the we talking we explain about the object end of the object streaming end of streaming uh, that is open the object uh, close the object and cross reference table cross ref and trailer and start the ref here we have the slash pages left encrypt we have the many slashes in front of the word so basically the slash is it means uh, all these slashes are information inside this the melee is structure right so again we have the we have the structure there is a structure and here there are many slashes, but all these slashes are inside into this object, this principal information, right? So here I explain, I will show you a video, um, explain about the PDF structure. So uh, you can read this video. I I prepare. I can I could use, but basically I will looking first the sample. Here we can read, for example, this object, this file has a 15 object that you can read here. And we have a very interesting information. We have a two extremes. So if you have extreme, maybe, maybe you can, you can have here, you can have here the, the um, obfuscated. Because, you know, in, inside this PDF, we have a five JavaScript, you know, we have a job, two JavaScripts. So now I will use another. Uh, tools PDF parsers and other uh, tools uh, inside this uh, this package from DJ Stevens. I executed this file, this command inside this uh, this this structure. Here we can read, for example, the PDF uh, version, the object one, 
in, inside the object one is referring another. Let me pause here the video to explain more better. Yes. So here we have object one, and this object one referencing object two, object three, four, five, six, and seven. You know. So do you remember when I showed this video? We have a fifteen object inside the PDF. Inside this PDF, we have a two extremes and five JavaScript, right? So uh, let me look in this uh, file. So he, here we have the object one and reference another object. So following the file, you have here the object inside and you reference. And here you have another open action. What's the means open action? Open action, mean, it means when the user click basically the PDF, this action execute basically the script inside the PDF file right so basically you can understand here if the user click the open action he started the we we started the JavaScript you know so basically when you're looking here the sample PDF you can understand it's a suspicious right because when do you have a PDF with JavaScript it's a red it's a red suspicious and after that you can look the option action, you have the action of the automatically run the script, it's totally suspicious, right? So let's come back to the file here, the objects three, four, and five, six. So here let me pause another let me pause again the video. Here we have another information interesting. Object four here, you know, we have a reference in in eight file in, in, in eight object and nine so here we have another object nine object so let me explain another here in object seven you the, the file referencing another object the object 10 inside the object 10 we have a JavaScript reference you know so you note this you can note this very interesting information because we have the object one reference two for example and six and seven you you can read you can see many different uh, references in, in this file right so here you have another amazing uh, information object 9 referencing the 4 when we can uh, see before but we, here we have another object the object 11 right so let's continue an object 10 reference 11 object and here in object 11 11 sorry uh, yes 11 you can read it's contain is streaming that's the first of information interesting we have a, a stream inside the object 11 but here we have the light it's the sizing of the file it's not a big it's a small but when you read the object 12 reference the 13 object we have another JavaScript and another JavaScript we have uh, a streaming in the 13 object and here the size it's more than bigger than first you know so here we can stop and you can uh, look in be looking this file because here contain some inf important information for us for for our analysis right so here we can look in inside this object and to works basically this so here another information but not important information for our analysis so here i will use another uh, tool of course as i mentioned to you i need to understand how these tools work so pdftk to sample uh, the file i will use output to put output information in this in this text but i will request the uncompressed because the information that I can find in the stream, I need to uncompress this information, right? So I will read this information and bow, what the information can read here. This is the information I can read inside this streaming. Looking this very, very interesting here. Because you know, here we have a JavaScript. Do you remember? It's JavaScript 13, 13 JavaScript. So here we have a JavaScript, but we have a technique that attacker can be used. Not can be, use it. You can see this uh, obfuscated JavaScript, right? So now I need to obfuscate this, uh, this stream, basically. So I will copy this information. I will use the my friend Nano. I know you, you don't like Nano, but I like. But anyway, you can use another 
text editor. So what I can I what I, I do will do here? I will change the sums parameters because I can read this information. I generate the payload.html because I would like to open this information in the web browser, right? So I will change here and I will change the evil because I I I see I saw the evil parameter. If you work uh, with Java, you can understand very well this information, but if you don't understand, I know because in the past I don't understand, but now I understand <laughs> the same, but I'm studying, it's very important, you know. So here I am opening the information and I will save and I would like to open in the web browser to try see what the information are inside this, in, this obfuscate code. So I am putting the privilege access to this file, right? So now it's okay. So I will open this information in a web browser. So I will use Chrome basic. So, you know, it's the same machine that I will use for you. And boom, what's the information perfect that we can read? It's payload, guys, we have a payload. Do you know what's the payload when you talk about the malware? The payload is the package responsible to put in the Vitman machine and this payload with, uh, it's the callback for me, uh, it's, it's if I will be the attacker, you know, but basically this is uh, payload is responsible to recall to, to the information or, or to open the ways in the attacker in the Vitman, right? So, after that, another video explaining about this analysis. So we have the payload. So we need to understand more. We need to find more information here. I can, if I would like to stop my analysis, I can, I have the payload, right? So this is malicious file. We have a, pay, a PDF files. We have a malicious file. So I would like, when my, when I made this analysis, I, I tried to look in another information, right? So here I be using, <coughs> I, I will try to, to make it, uh, the code is information because I read here another in code. So we have the of, of skate code, and after that I read, I read, I, I saw the encode information because <clears throat> this file using in in UC2 encode like a, a, a Unicode uh, format. So I will try to looking inside this information. What is information? It's 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 I can read, for example. Because this payload is responsible to attack the Vitman. But this callback, for, you know, so, so this is the callback the Vitman to attacker. Um, maybe you can you can go to to a CAC, a, a, you know, a, a commanding controller to the attacker. So that's my that I will I was thinking, you know, so I will try. So what? Let me check here. Okay. So here we we will see this. Uh, let me come back here the video to explain. So here that I use this command here to set to to take the many different uh, 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 assets to have the Unicode the the run Unicode information right. So I use here in the in the Linux machine and here I use in the the Mozilla in the Windows machine. So after that, I, I found the Unicode information. I generate in this tools, Mozilla, the X file binary. Why? Why I do this? Because when I generate this X file, I use another tool from DJ Steven, short search, search to find in this file if I found any HTTP uh, or any um, URL, because my, my idea here is to find the CEC, uh, the command and control from the attacker. And when I use this, this, uh, this tools, looking what I found, HTTP or IP from the attacker. When you're looking inside this information, obviously this attacker can be used the tour, but the, the, the last hope is in the Estonia Europe. And I found the IP from the Command and control. Look at it's very interesting when you start this analysis in the PDF file. You look in the obfuscate code. You the code the information. The, after that, you look in the uh, the payload files, the payload code. Inside this payload, we have another information like a, a, a encode information in Unicode uh, characters. I 
by generating an exabinary and after this uh, exabinary I found the uh, IP from the attacker and this time I end I finally I end my analysis right so questions I if you have many questions I open for us so I would like to thanks for everyone to to, to watching me yes it's a honor for me to talk in, in, in besides conference I you know for me it's very 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 important I am excited excited to be here so again if you can follow me in the, the in the LinkedIn you know, thank you so much and again thank you for your time have a wonderful day